How to be a good preacher. Dear friends in Christ, today is one of those days when I like to sit down in the congregation and listen to the people preach to me. This is because the target of today's readings is not strictly the congregation but the preacher himself. While St. Paul makes speaks of preaching as a service one does not deserve to boast or be paid for, he also makes a quite shocking remark when he said, for fear that, after having preached to others, I myself should be disqualified. 1 Corinthians 9 16-19,22-27 This means that it is possible to be a very powerful preacher, it is possible to preach great sermons, deliver inspirational messages like I try to do, it is possible to convince millions of people vehemently to follow God by speaking to their hearts. Then at the end of the day, the preacher himself fails to reach heaven. There are two images that describe such a preacher. One a signboard and secondly a needle. The signboard shows others the way to a place but because its feet are buried under the ground, the signboard never goes there itself. While the needle helps every other cloth to mend their holes but in doing so never takes time to mend its own hole. What kind of preacher would show people the way to heaven and never reach heaven himself? This is the hypocrite Jesus spoke about in today's gospel passage. Luke 639-42 This is the preacher who never examines his own conscience. Like I said yesterday, we tend to judge people based on our own sins and quite often when we preach, it is the voice of our own conscience that has heard. The same conscience that we have tried to silence in the secret, and the dark places of our life comes out to speak about the evils we are guilty of right in public. As such people listening to us and seeing how convinced we are believe that we must be free of such evils to have the boldness to speak about them but the truth is that, the very opposite is the case. Nonetheless, there are good preachers and there are bad preachers. The good preachers try to take out the logs in their own eyes first before attempting to preach about the specks they notice in people's life. The good preachers preach not only with words but with their very life as well. The good preachers do not boast about their talents or give people the impression that they are living saints. The good preachers do not offer their services for money. Above all, the good preachers make serious efforts to discipline themselves as St. Paul recommends in the first reading. Every athlete exercises discipline in every way. Thus I do not run aimlessly. I do not fight as if I were shadow boxing. No, I drive my body and train it, for fear that, after having preached to others, I myself should be disqualified. The very fact that one is preacher, the very fact that one stands on the pulpit on a raised platform above people makes one very attractive to the people for different reasons and this is why the preacher's life is riddled with lots of temptation both from the young, the married and unmarried, the old and even children. Satan knows this and never stops trying to make efforts geared at the downfall of the preacher. Even the media loves it when the preacher is involved in a breaking news, newspapers sell more and websites receive more visitors when there is scandal and people love to know that their holier than thou preacher was nothing more than an ordinary human being after all. This is why we can never stop praying for our preachers. Pray for me and all priests religious and pastors who preach God's word on a daily basis that at the end of the day, we may be qualified to enter heaven. Good morning. Be happy. Have faith. Live positive. It is well with you.